Stacy's mom has got it going on. Hello guys, it's Surreal Randy Chavez here back with another Ecomi related video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Let's say hello to Dashi. Hello Dashi. Where's Dashi? Dashi? Dashi, where are you? Dashi! 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 You're a real dog! Oh, you're a real dog now, Dashy. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to be talking about Randy Chavez. I know you've seen him on my show a couple times. We have had some live streams together. It's been a really good time. I really appreciate him for reaching out to me back in the day because he's actually a very interesting guy. And I just want to talk about his 82 million OMI portfolio and what we can learn from it. And actually, when I first heard that he was kind of almost going all in on OMI, I remember thinking to myself, well, man, isn't that a little bit risky? I mean, it's OMI token. It's an altcoin. It's already risky to begin with. I would even say this is riskier than penny stocks and to a certain extent. But the more I've thought about his investment, the more I actually see a lot of the wisdom in what he is doing. Now, I don't recommend you necessarily follow what he is doing. I'm not giving any financial advice on this channel. It's merely my opinion and experiences we are talking about. But I have learned and I have seen the wisdom in what Randy Chavez is doing. Now, let's get into it, shall we? But like always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell. It really helps with the algorithm and let's get to it. So let's first take a look at the real Randy Chavez's channel. So he posts a lot of OMI related content, a lot of stuff related to Earth 2, which we talked about on the live stream if you happen to be on it. But from what I understand about the real Randy Chavez from our conversations, he has a military background. He got out of the military, got into the high risk lending sector. He has since been retired. He posts content on YouTube. He is into Pokemon cards. He has his own trading company. He's into Omi in a big way, and he got there through his Pokemon cards and his various investments. So when I first talked to Randy, I think he had something like 10 million Omi, something like that. I don't know his exact wallet size at the time, but from my understanding, it was roughly 10 million. But he has since dramatically increased his position to about 82 million OMI from what I understand based off watching some of his content. And I want to just kind of briefly go over how he must have done it. Now, obviously, someone who can get 82 million OMI in a short period of time, the only way they got this is by already having a certain amount of assets to do this, right? So when we look at this tweet here, he says he has sold his Tesla stock. He now has three Bitcoin and he's not done yet. So when we look at Randy Chavez here, how did he accumulate 82 million OMI? Well, this tweet says he sold his Tesla stock. He now has three Bitcoin. You know, three Bitcoin is roughly valued at $100,000 at the time of recording. So that's a large chunk of change. He also posted here on July 2nd that he actually engaged in a record-breaking Pokemon card deal selling a Pokemon card roughly at over four hundred thousand dollars So obviously he got a lot of money from this deal and from what I understand it was a cash as well as trade type deal Roughly worth somewhere around the ballpark of four hundred thousand dollars in order for Randy to have gotten to his position He didn't get lucky he made some very smart deals. Now, granted, I don't think any of us knew a couple of years ago that Pokemon cards would be valued like it is, you know. In a sense, he got lucky to a certain extent. But he also had the intellect and the knowledge of something that would be valuable in the future, and he went all in on it, right? So on one hand, it's, it's a little bit of luck, but on the other hand, it takes skill to realize to and, and to invest in something in order to turn around an investment like this. So props to Randy Chavez there to have the cojones as well as the intellect to understand something that's going to be valuable in the future. So with his sale of Tesla stock, 
as well as his massive Pokemon deal. As we can see here, he was able to accumulate quite a bit of Omi. It says here, that's why I bought 11 million more Omi this morning because Omi will make us rich, not financial advice. And as you can see here on July 12th, he had roughly 45 million Omi, most likely from his massive Pokemon deal and stock sales. We also see he's trying to sell a lot of his Pokemon cards, most likely from that Pokemon deal. Another one here, you know, selling his Venusaur, trying to get about 23000 or best offer. Is that a PSA 10? So, you know, definitely high value card there. So as we can see here, he posted on July 15th, he increased his Omi portfolio to about 61 million Omi. So great deal, steadily increasing his portfolio. So Randy Chavez on July 19th posted, since I have 80 million Omi now, I figured it's good time to turn my attention to the actual VV official NFTs. And if you look at some of his most recent videos, he says he has roughly 82 million Omi now. So why is accumulating all this Omi? Why is this potentially a really good deal, a really smart investment? Well, if you look at the price here, Starting from this year, we know it skyrocketed in price. It went as high as like 1.3 cents, something like that. So if you got into this in 2019, you made off with a bandit if you sold at the top. But we all know what happened. It steadily went down in price over a couple months. So it was a very stressful time. We have only since begun to see a rise in value to where we are now looking at about 0.00. .00 three, two, three, three, something like that. Well, the reason why this is a big deal is we know it dropped roughly. I mean, even at one point, you know, the lowest low we saw was 0 0.0011. So that represents almost a 90% drop in value. So the strategy with stocks, with investments is you want to buy low and sell high. So what that means is you don't want to have bought at the top, even though it's attractive to buy at the top because it's running up there. You get the FOMO. You it makes you want to buy it. That's not the best time typically to buy an investment. But when is it the best time to buy an investment? It's to buy when it's low. And relative to the highs, even at the 0 0.0033 level, that still represents over a 66% discount from the all-time highs. It still represents a good time to buy. So when Randy Chavez spends $200,000, $300,000 to buy Omi at, I'm assuming, these levels, that's a really smart investment because the lower an investment goes, assuming all the fundamentals are sound, the more likely that is to go up in the future because it represents such a discount, right? That's the principle of value investing. That's a principle what Warren Buffett believes in, which really I am also a value investor as well in terms of methodology. So when he dumps all this money into a valuable asset that is trading at the discount, it's kind of a no-brainer to assume that's eventually going to go up. So when we look at this spreadsheet here, we have 82 million, which represents his 82 million OMI. And I have little prices here of what his investment will be worth at the subsequent level. So we have one cent here. If it goes to one cent, and that's not too far of a stretch to assume it'll go to one cent. Everyone in the community believes we'll eventually hit one cent. It's just a matter of when. Some people believe this year. Uh, some people believe never, right? So there's a huge range there. But but the vast majority of people believe we're going to hit one cent sometime this year. Exceed it, actually. So if it hits one cent, his investment is going to be worth $820,000. If it hits two cents, which is within the range of my price prediction for the end of 2021, 1.6 million dollars so i th i think i did the calculation in order for him to be a millionaire it's got to hit like 1.3 cents so pretty much hitting the all-time high something like that i didn't do the exact math so bear with me so maybe someone can do the exact math of assuming you have 82 million omi when is he going to be a millionaire at what price point put it down in the comments down below but three cent 2.4 million dollars five cent four million dollars ten cents $8 million, $0.15, cents, $12 million, and so on. So this is what I think the wisdom of his investment is. I've done my analysis. I believe Ecomi Vivi is a pretty sound investment. I don't want to get in. I don't really want to get into it here, but you've seen some of my videos. You understand why I believe it's a sound investment. He's buying it at a point that represents 
pretty much an extreme discount, right? 66% from all time highs. So it's cheap. The cheaper you buy it, the more likely it is to go up. Imagine if you bought it at 0.0011, some of the lowest price points we've ever seen. Bam, he would have tripled his investment within a short period of time if he had done that, which I'm not sure if he did. I don't think he did from the history of his tweets. But as you can see here, this is such a smart investment. He is almost guaranteeing he's going to be a millionaire within a short period of time. Now, granted, how did he do this? He already had assets that were valuable. He made some good trades, right? He made the Tesla trade. I don't know when he got it in at, but he made some smart trades there. His biggest deal was realizing that Pokemon cards would be valuable. I'm not sure if he knew it was going to be this valuable, but maybe he did. But he put his money where his mouth was. He dipped. He put $80,000 into a Pokemon card and it rewarded him significantly this year. So you could say that's lucky. I think it's a combination of intellect and luck. So I think actually from when you look at this, Randy Chavez is almost like the Dogecoin millionaire I think the Dogecoin millionaire, I mean, that was a little bit too risky. This is lower risk, greater reward. So I think Randy Chavez is a really smart guy. He's taking a very smart, calculated risk, and I really believe it's going to pay off for him. So, all right, guys, we went over Randy Chavez's portfolio. He is essentially all in on Omi Token. We talked about why this might be a good deal, actually. But uh, like I said before, this is not financial advice. I don't advise you to make any recommendations based off what I said. This is purely my opinion as well as an entertainment type content piece. But there you have it, guys. If you enjoy this type of stuff, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.